one of the things that a lot of founders sort of don't intuitively understand when they're scaling for the first time is they stay at the top. Everybody else gets pushed down. Yeah. And so, you know, as you're adding people, typically it's level below the founder. You're adding senior managers, you're adding middle managers and so on. A lot of the people who were doers right at the beginning start to go lower and lower and lower and further from the mm-hmm. seat of decision making and yeah. information coming together. And that's a hard thing to do. Yeah, it's really hard. Um, and, you know, sometimes uh, there are people that can scale with the company. I find most founders make mistakes in the opposite direction, which is not hiring senior people early enough. Mm-hmm. Right. It's, you know, in Silicon Valley, in the startup world, we tend to discount gray hair. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's a crazy mistake. It's, there is a difference between wisdom and intelligence. And wisdom comes from seeing things. Mm-hmm. And um, being able to bring people onto the team that have seen things before has been massively, massively helpful. At the same time, of course, you know, millennials get a bad rap mm-hmm. <laughs> for, for, the, for kind of a sense of entitlement. But I think that's, you know, that's a cynical way to view uh, a generation. Uh, I think an equally valid way to view it is you have a generation of people that are dying to have an impact and are willing to work really, really hard because they care and they're they're going to sacrifice salary for, for social good. Um, they just want to have a say if they're going to do that, if they're going to work those extra hours, if they're going to sacrifice, you know, going to be an investment banker to go work in education. They want to have a little more of a say than they would have otherwise. And, and I think they, they deserve that. And you can get a lot out of it.